Hello, today we are going to do one small example of tuning the load to a Lexium 32 drive. So we have a motor and on the motor we have a disc which represents the load. Now you are going to see the difference between tuned motor and without tuning. What we are going to show is difference on the default settings of the drive here in parameter list you will see that drive is in factory settings and here it is so now let's move to the scope we will do a scope following reference and actual position so we load p ref pre atst now let's change sampling we will do one millisecond sampling let's define a trigger put five samples in advance just to see the start and we will use reference speed for triggering now when we set up our scope let's run a drive so we will do absolute positioning we will use 1000 rpm as maximum speed and 40000 of acceleration and deceleration let's say that this is application requirements and we will do one circle just to show you what are the default values for the operating loop so here you can see that i can little bit shake the motor out of the current position let's run our scope and let's make one turn to see what is going to be the result start we can see the movement and now we will have the results of our scope inside 200 milliseconds so here you can see already red line is reference and blue line is actual position so you can see that in fact even after 200 milliseconds the drive barely reached the position that we set now let's do a tuning we'll use basic easy tuning we will start it and because the tuning takes around one minute we will skip this minute to just to have a faster video here we are the tuning is done and now let's do some tests we will do a scope Now let's see profile position. Again, we will do one rotation with the same parameters. Let, let's run our drive. And here you can see that the control loop is much stiffer. I cannot move it. If we change back to control 2, which is the on a default value, you will see that I can shake it. And now I even managed to trigger the scope. Let's start the scope one more time. And let's check the results of tuning. So we will start the rotation. It's almost invisible to see the one circle of this motor. But here you can see that the reference and actual positions are more or less the same. And here you can see that control set is different after tuning. It's much sharper. Let's do a little bit more. Now let's change back to control 2 and start the movement it would be good that I also start the scope before I start the movement and here it is let's start now here you can see the positioning and you see the first value let's switch the control after tuning let's start one more time Here it's much faster, almost invisible. And we can see 
the difference. So if you have a fast movement, you can do it. Here, this overshoot, you can little bit decrease with decreasing this value of feet forward. Thanks. Bye.